Vincent Mangano ascended to the helm of the family, accompanied by Joseph Biondo as his trusted advisor and Albert Anastasia as his second in command. Embracing the traditional values of honor, tradition, respect, and dignity upheld by the old world mob, Mangano also possessed a forward thinking mindset unlike his predecessors, Masseria and Maranzano. Adapting to the waning profits from the Prohibition era's conclusion in 1933, Mangano steered his family's operations towards lucrative avenues such as extortion, union corruption, and illicit gambling ventures encompassing horse betting, number running, and lotteries. Under the guise of the City Democratic Club, Mangano established a front ostensibly promoting American ideals. In reality, this organization served as a cover for the infamous Murder Incorporated, a group primarily composed of Jewish contract killers who carried out assassinations for the nationwide Cosa Nostra. Anastasia, also known as the Lord High Executioner, effectively led Murder Incorporated. Mangano fostered close connections with Emil Camarda, a high-ranking official in the International Longshoremen's Association, ILA. Through the ILA, Mangano and his family exerted complete control over the bustling Manhattan and Brooklyn waterfronts. Beginning in 1932, Anthony Tuff Tony Anastasio, Albert Anastasia's younger brother held the presidency of ILA Local 1814. Anthony became one of the family's most profitable earners, channeling substantial sums of money through kickbacks and bribes into their coffers. His affiliation with organized crime was no secret, Albert kept his brother close by. With the family's unwavering support, Anastasio effectively governed the Brooklyn waterfront for three decades. Around this period, Carlo Gambino advanced his position within the Mangano family, along with his cousin Paul Castellano, both destined to become influential figures in the future. Despite their two-decade-long collaboration, Anastasia and Mangano often found themselves at odds. Their relationship teetered on the brink of physical confrontation on several occasions. Mangano grew uneasy with Anastasia's close alliances with prominent mobsters like Lucky Luciano, Frank Costello, and Joseph Bonanno, who operated beyond his own family circle. Furthermore, Mangano harbored envy towards Anastasia's considerable influence within Murder Incorporated and the Waterfront Unions. In April 1951, Vincent Mangano mysteriously vanished without a trace, while his brother Philip was discovered deceased. The Mangano brothers' deaths remained unsolved, with no individuals ever charged, and Vincent's remains never recovered. Nevertheless, prevalent beliefs indicate that Anastasia orchestrated the demise of both siblings.